Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we've got pretty good headway. Matt's been working on the downpipe, and what else have we been working uh, on the, It's not really the downpipe, but the, the pipe coming off of here, going towards the turbo. Oh, okay. Actually, you want to show them real quick? Yeah. So right now, here's what we got. It's coming, this is from the turbo, and then obviously this side will go towards the header. So I gotta make the part that goes into the flange, and then uh, turbo should be in place after that. We're getting closer. I don't remember if we mentioned in the last video, but we're thinking about maybe doing a hood exit um, and just be done with it. Cause the turbo's sitting right here. Whoops, sitting right here. So either we'd have to figure out how to snake it back or just hood exit, which, you know, this car is not pristine. So, <laughs> and then I've been trying to get the oil feed done here. So that right there, you see where it's threaded? That's where your uh, sensor is. And we pulled that out already. You're gonna have to remove the oil filter to get some access to it. Then this is our little T that we've got. So this is gonna thread into the block. The sensor's gonna be on here, the feed's gonna be on here. It doesn't really matter which way. Just make sure there's enough room for the oil feed line to go over here. So we'll grab that up real quick and uh, start getting that routed. All right guys, so here's the feed line. Here's that little T we got. I think what we're gonna do is probably thread it into the block with this already on there and then we're gonna do the feed from here. So make sure you use some thread sealant like this, or else it's, you know, it probably won't leak, but it might, so just go ahead and do it anyway. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you once it's in there. All right, guys, let me show you. I got the feed line ran, coming through there. We'll go ahead and go through the bottom so you can see the little fitting there, the T. It's that fitting right there, that's the T. We put the sensor right there, T off there. You just plug that right in and then the feed line is going through the top make sure you take off your oil filter or else you're not gonna be able to get around there and when you're threading this in take that off thread the sensor in and thread the barb into the little block there the little t or else you're not gonna be able to do it and then from the top once you've got that in you can put the line on there and that'll go in pretty nicely and you should be able to tighten that down so there's that done and I just snaked it in between the field rail here and it'll just go it's kind of long unfortunately but turbo is going to be somewhere over here so we'll just figure out where we need to put it so it doesn't uh, look so ugly all right so last time we ran just regular fuel injection hose from here all the way to the tank this time we got this line here so we're probably going to mount the fuel pressure regulator somewhere in this area here so i'm just going to run the line all the way back so we can have that done and we do have the fuel pressure regulator. We just haven't put it on yet. All right, so I've got it punched into the tank now. So uh, let me grab a light actually. So basically what you're gonna wanna do here is follow these lines. So we're gonna zip tie them to the lines right here all the way through. So I've got this fed all the way through. So we're just gonna zip tie them right next to them like that. Once it's zip tied up here to get into the tank, you're gonna wanna go over this bracket here and there's a gap right here. And if you shove the hose up there, you'll be able to grab it from there. And then we'll just zip tie it to the rest of these lines here. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you when we're done. All right guys, let's show you where we're at here. Got the bungs welded. Once we pull it out, we'll show you where we put them. Since it'll be out of the car, it'll be much easier. Yeah, right now we're just kind of figuring out where our wastegate, if our wastegate will fit where the stock one was on this manifold. We had to cut the flange off because it's a four bolt flange and these are just your two bolt style. And the only reason we went with this one is because originally we were going to use that log manifold, which is over here somewhere, that thing. So that bolts right up to this. But since we ended up having to switch, we were out of the return time for this thing. So we're just going to have to make it work. Yeah, I think it'll work. Yeah. Just put the screener pipe straight down like we did last time. Yeah. All right. We got our two bolt flange welded on. Now we can put all our O2 sensors on, wastegate on, um, put the manifold back on when we're in the turbo. Yeah. Nothing will go on for good, right? I think so. Yeah. Sweet. Let me show you something that Matt did over oh, here. Geez. He's always trying to blame me, but uh, so these turbines, the hot side, these are ceramic for the J spec motors. He was hammering it out. 
and it just rubbed up against the housing. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> so luckily we have the other one because uh, we still have the other turbo. So we're just going to basically pop this off, remove the shaft because it's part of this right here, and just pop in the new one. So that is the downside to these guys, and that's why you can't really boost really hard on these because these, tur these turbines will explode essentially because they're such a, a weak material, really brittle. So, but anyways, thought we'd show you guys that. So this won't go on for now. I have to get the other one to rebuild. All right, ready to go. And for the lines, we are moving just one of them, I think. The rest should be all right where they're at, especially since uh, Matt made that remote pipe over here. But we are gonna just twist this so it's not touching anything. It's just that rubber hose, basically. Rotate it the other way and it should bend away from the manifold there. All right, guys, manifold's in. Here, that line, I guess there is brake fluid in there. Um, I thought it was vacuum line, but all we did is unplugged it here, pulled it out, rotated it, and then just shoved it back in. So it's away from the manifold and I think we're all right. So now that we got this done, we're working on the tank now. Matt's gonna turn down the barb he made here last time. It's a little bit too fat. So we're gonna go down to three eighths and that's what goes into the, so, or the fuel hat. So what 